Their home, Rock Barracks, is named after John Rock, the engineer who pioneered military parachuting. Now, the sappers who've been doing it for decades get to put it in their title, a reinforcement that they do what it says on their lids. Well, we must never underestimate the importance that a name and a badge and a flag make to soldiers when they go into battle or conduct their operations. And of course, the regiment is what we vest our morale and our spirit in the British Army. And so the name of a regiment is terribly, terribly important. And this renaming goes back to the origins of this regiment in the airborne forces in the Second World War with the original airborne parachute squadrons. And we've come back to that today, which we're really pleased about. They've always worn the maroon berry. This name change, they say, better reflects their airborne role in 16 Brigade and brings them into line with their colleagues, two four commando engineers who are attached to the Royal Marines. Well, the engineers, of course, are critical to our capability because they enable our mobility. They help us get to where we want to be and they stop the enemy getting to where they want to be. And if you ever have a problem that needs to be solved, then the engineers are the people to do it. There's almost nothing the engineers can't do. These sappers are at high readiness to deploy, giving combat engineering support should it be to find a camp, build a bridge, supply electricity or anything else. We help the brigade live, fight and move. At the same time, we'll do uh, look at artisan trade skills in terms of how can we build schools, how can we develop infrastructure, how can we make the lives of those that we're there to you know, support better. The inspecting officer is General Chris Tickell. He's now the Director General Army Manning and Training, but he was the first commanding officer of this unit when it was formed, and he led them into Iraq on Optelic in 2003. So it's fitting that he's the one who changes their name today. What does it mean to you to have had, I think, every former commanding officer of the regiment here today? Uh, again, a great uh, privilege and also the regimental sergeant majors uh, along with them. And again, it's been a great honour and privilege. I've worked for many of them in the past. So it's wonderful to be able in some ways to give something back to them. But, you know, to recognise that what we're doing here is not, is not dispensing with the past. It's a continuation of all the fantastic work that all they, they did for this regiment, for the brigade and for the wider army. One of the most junior sappers in the regiment just completed P Company a fortnight ago. Since I joined the army two years ago, uh, kind of got the roles of like EOD and all that kind of stuff and uh, being a paratrooper appealed to me quite a lot. Um, I wanted to be the best what I could be in the army. Um, happy that the name of the regiment has changed to be honest. Makes it makes it sound better if I'm honest. Sounds though. cool, isn't that yeah, what you mean? Exactly so you can yeah. tell all your mates. Yeah exactly so should be good. So they're all set, the new signs are already up on the gate. Julie Knox, Forces News with 2-3 Parachute Engineer Regiment.